I've made a drawing of St Thomas's Church in Romney Marsh and I'm hoping to paint this as a sunset. So I've masked the sun and I'm going to wet the paper, clean water using goat hair hake brush. Just wet the front, make sure that is completely covered. This is a half sheet of Quarter Imperial 200 Pine Buckingford. Just about to see where the sun is there. I'll wet the back. Wet the board. This is um, 12 mil MDF board. And just make sure that is nicely evenly wetted. So that will now stay wet for a little while, hopefully. Just get rid of the, all the excess water. Right. Tilt that away a little bit and mop up the excess. So it'll stay wet for quite a long time. That's um, an indication. I know that reflect. There we are. See reflections of the wet surface. So I'm looking to paint a sunset with probably with a soft brush, like a squirrel or a sable, cadmium yellow. Lots of that. Lots of cadmium yellow, rather less cadmium red. So that's very little cadmium red to make a yellow orange. And there are degrees of that. So if I take that through the horizon here, something like that, and I mix it with a little bit of crimson as well. I think the kind of orange is better suited to crimson. I'm going to take that below the. It wasn't wet. Into the landscape part of the image. A little bit more crimson. So it's more or less pale crimson at the bottom. Yep, more crimson. So it's a redder orange at the lower lower part of the image. And a cadmium yellow and cadmium red again. Kind of streaky. So I'm gonna streak that across here. Just let the colour disperse. A little more crimson towards the top in the orange mixture. So all these colours will dry lighter. Just going to lift, put some colour in there. The sky is still the source of light in this image, but it's um, towards twilight, so it'll be getting darker, particularly away from the source of light, the sun here. So there's slightly richer colour just below where the sun is. Yeah, this is Slightly richer here. So there'll be other colours to go on top of this a little bit later. Um, for the moment, uh, I just would like to lift, use a bit of lifting out as well, and get that to go just slightly richer, and then fade upwards. 
So all the while this is very wet, the colour will continue to disperse and I'm trying to avoid creating lines in the sky. Something like that, backwards and forwards. So the sky has got these streaks going across. As this dries, as it's just beginning to go off a little bit, the water is soaked into the paper more, the any colour put on will disperse less. So it's an opportunity to build up colour and an opportunity to lift away without um, the colour flooding back too much. So, I'm just going to use the lifting out on here with this brush, side it sideways, a bit of lifting out, and then lifting out again, and some light coming off the sun here, just a little bit of light going up off the sun. This is with a damp hake brush. So there are rays of light coming off here, going up upwards, giving some light above the above the sun. The just put a drip of water on the front here. Let's take that. Right. This area I will be brushing back into, so this is all going to end up being darker in front. But that's, that's about it for the first stage, and uh, this has to dry. If it dries slowly, naturally, that's better, because the colour will continue to, sp to disperse during that time. And I hope to finish this in part two.